it's clearly simple for a guy that's really smart, that knows what he's doing and recognizes what to do. This is a guy that, that this is his sixth year with the Mets, recognizes the league, recognizes the player, uh, recognizes what to do and the era he's playing in. I mean, this is an era where a strikeout doesn't matter. So what, I, what has Jacob DeGrom done is expand the gap between the fastball and the changeup and also move into a slider who, that I think he commands better than, than he did previously on the breaking ball. And what he's doing is locating his fastball, using his changeup the, the proper way, and kind of working in and out and up and down with the fastball. And, and Jacob DeGrom, I think, right now realizes what the league is intending to do. He long balls, strikeouts don't matter, so he got rid of the pitches that probably would take him uh, to get in trouble and, and utilizing the fastball when he needs to. We see and, and his fastball is powerful enough to get by anybody, forcing everybody to commit to just one pitch and, and give him two to survive. And you, you've, you pointed out you, you, the, your words, attacking the strike zone. Which he's is what you, attacking you, the strike so zone. So explain that now to us, how he's doing that. Well, he's, he's actually jumping ahead. He has three pitches. He has uh, a, a repertoire that he can actually use and use any pitch at any, at any point. And that forces you to just leave him with two pitches to put you away and force you to just look for one. And good luck if you're looking change up and you get 97, 98. Or good luck if you're looking uh, 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 fastball and, and you get the change up which he's commanding really well. The slider is also getting so much better. His maturity has played along with, with the stuff he has right now. So that's, that's what making uh, Jacob DeGrom uh, a very special human being. Yeah, I, I think he's got great command. And one of the things that he does is most hitters probably want the ball about thigh high, right? So what's he do? He throws his fastball above the thigh, above the waist. For yes. Strikes. And he throws his change up in his slider below the thigh. He, he th throws it down in the zone. So he's not giving you anything really good to hit. The slider and change up look attractive out of his hand because you think they're going to be thigh high, mm. but then they dive. It's like Jacob DeGrom has this late break on, on his pitches. And when you watch him here, you, you, you look, where's that change up? Looks like a strike in the middle of the strike zone. No, it tells away. It's away from the play. It's, it looks like a nice pitch to hit when you see him. And then you see the path, you see the slider there. It's like middle, middle away for some of those guys. No, it's not. It looks like a strike, but it's not. Look, it's lefties, it's righties. And, and you know what that tells me? They're geared up for one of those pitches, and it's got to be a fastball because look how far they miss these pitches. The and those pitches. An hour slider. That's incredible. Incredible, but look at the, 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 the difference between those pitches. It's like he's going to one side of the plate and the other. And then when, you, when you're not expecting that or you stop to look up for one of those two, he gets 98 by you. Well located and well elevated. Look this kid is going to continue to do this for a long, long time if he stays healthy. Look at this. It's the same pitch until halfway. Mm. Same velocity almost, and he strikes him out twice in Chicago in this start. <laughs> and it, it's, it's going down that same tunnel till halfway, and then it splits, and each one goes a different direction. So you almost have to guess, is it a slider or is it a changeup? It forces you to commit, and that's what I was talking about. He has such a late movement that the ball is literally in the area where you think you're going to hit it, and then it, is, it just separates mm -hmm. from the plate away or from the plate in uh, such a late stage of the, uh, of, uh, of the hitter's side. So it, it's really forcing those hitters to commit, commit early, and commit to just one pitch because all three of them are becoming plus pitches for, for Jacob DeGrom. So when we saw that video of the two ball splitting, think if you're Kyle Schwarber, you're thinking, okay, he's got 98, so I gotta gear up to hit yep. this. Right. And I gotta make sure he doesn't throw it above the zone. Well, here comes a pitch that is like waist high, thigh high, and I'm gonna crush this heater, right? And I'm gonna crush it, crush it, crush it. And then on one strikeout, it's a changeup that goes this way. And on the other one, it's a slider that goes this way. <laughs> I, you, you can't hit it.